the key is just having conversations and talking to people. So thankfully it's deal finding Friday with Privy. And what we're going to do is we're going to have some conversations because guys, when you make offers to agents, don't always think you have to get that deal. Obviously you want to get that deal. A lot of it goes into networking and having that relationship and taking that agent and putting them in a drip campaign and following up with them. That's how it really you get deals. Nathan, you ready to get it, bro? Yeah, man. I just, bro, what, what you're preaching is um, literally what happened yesterday. I've been using for our 30 day challenge, Privy is a tool that I've primarily been using. And I called an agent on a property yesterday that um, is a good fit for what I'm looking for. And, um, you know, for me, I didn't make an offer on the phone. I threw out like kind of some feelers to kind of get where they're at, but they weren't ready for kind of that investor offer yet. Okay. And yep. so rather than like just making an offer or just trying to get just that deal, did exactly what you're talking about, right? Set up that relationship. Hey, do you happen to have any others? Well, hey, save my number. When I do look to buy a property, it's, it's an all cash offer, you know, can close really quick you know, save my number. You can call, text me anytime and you'll set it up where I was like, Hey, I'll, I'll tell you what, you know, I'd love to stay in touch. If for whatever reason, y'all I'll, I'll reach back out either text or call three weeks from now. And if for whatever reason, circumstances changed or whatever the case may be with this house, you know, maybe, maybe we can revisit the conversation and figure out an offer. That's a good fit then. I love it. And she like, she loved it. And so boom, that's the person out of the database. We'll get to follow up and um, yeah, see what happens. That's it. That's exactly right. So we have Henry uh, from our uh, our program, and he's on here. He loves using Privy. And uh, Benson Juarez, he's he just texted me who owns Privy. He's hopping on this call too. So we're gonna have some awesome all star lineup. We're, we're gonna say hi to Henry right now. Yo, yo, Henry, what's up, brother? Uh, good morning, guy. What's hey, up, hey, Henry? Dude? I know you had a property that you had on Privy. You were asking what offer you should make on it, right? Uh, yes. So I'm uh I'm actually uh find this uh property uh on the MOS and then uh, okay. I I uh, okay. I, uh, I contact the realtor and then uh, uh, they told me that uh, contact uh, directly with the homeowner okay so I uh, so I call her yesterday and then uh, I offer her like uh, 60k okay but she uh, denied my offer she told me that's a uh, her prop yeah. her her Dang. property uh had like uh, two lots or something like that and then uh, she won a uh, hundred k for her property hundred k uh, for your property and you offered her sixty uh yes so uh, based on uh based on her uh this property already uh break down so bad so it's yeah, needed yeah. A, a a full rehab anyway yeah Henry so this is what happens sometimes when you make offers to agents um uh, they're not always gonna accept but you know the follow up game is pretty important that's what me and Nathan are talking about we're talking about it's not always about winning that offer. It's about establishing relationships. So you could talk to that agent and say, hey, look, I really, I'm ready to go, but uh, you know, can you please keep me in mind? And you you wanna be able to network, right? And that's what I wanna show you today. I wanna make some calls and show you like how, how to network with agents. And not every agent's gonna gonna be cool with networking with you, right? So it's it's just looking to find those people. I know I called I called the cash buyer about a deal I was trying to wholesale yesterday that I found through JVing and the, uh, the buyer that I tried to find he, he was like not trying to talk to me at all he was like man i'm busy i got stuff to do blah 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 sometimes you catch people in the middle of something sometimes they just don't feel like it's worth their time it's it's totally fine right uh, uh no so i uh uh, this actually, I, I talking uh, directly with the homeowner, not to the agent anymore. That's really interesting. So the agent that listed the property said, talk to the, the seller? Yeah, talk to the seller directly. It must be one of these flat fee listing places where they just list it and then they direct everything to the um, the seller. You want me to call that seller? Let me see if I can negotiate something with that seller. You, you want me to try? Uh, yes. So let me uh, put her phone number and then uh, the address. Let's call the... Henry. I love how much you take action, dude. Everyone take note from our guy Henry. I already called her yesterday, and then uh, I told I told her that my my partner Nathan uh, will call you back uh, today. All right, yeah. Henry. All right. <laughs> Won't always promise that because I'm not always free, but uh, I can help you out right now. Let's do it. Okay. Let me give her a call. Benson. Oh, we got we got the goat here. We got Benson on. How hey you doing? guys? Hi Benson. Hey, hey, what's going on, everyone? Yeah, we're making we're making calls. We're we're taking action. I saw that. I'm excited. This is this is what I love seeing. It's so cool. You're just like, let's just call him. Yeah, let's do it. That's that's I think that's what people what people want to see. They want to see the calls. Okay, let me see if I can get it done, guys. Let's see if I can lock it up. <laughs> Hello. 
Hi, is this uh, is this Thu? Yes. Thu, how are you doing today? Good. Good, good. Hey, I'm calling about the house that you have listed on 8010 Miley Street. Yeah. Yeah, do you have a couple minutes to chat or did I catch you at a bad time? No, you can talk. Okay. Yeah, so I'm looking at the property. Actually, Henry uh, that I work with, he, he told me to give you a call. I think he made you an offer yesterday. Does that sound right? Yeah, laughable offer. Oh man, sixty thousand dollars was. <laughs> well, did it? I, I hope it didn't offend you. It's okay. <laughs> have you been? I'm just curious. Have you been getting a lot of offers that are low like that, or or not really? Yes. Okay. Well, they give me eighty. I reject. They give me ninety. Okay. I still reject. And this guy gave me sixty thousand dollars. Like, <laughs> well, I'm yeah. a flip on myself. Oh, so you, okay. I know the game. Is that what you were doing with this this property that we're looking at right now? Were you uh, planning on flipping I'm gonna, it? I'm switching to new build, so that's why I'm not fixing it up and I'm selling as is. Oh, okay. So if you look at your you're doing new build. So I I come across a lot of properties that uh, you know a lot of land as well. So maybe we could network outside of this deal, and I could bring you some, sure. some stuff. Are you always are you looking to buy like land at the moment? Not at the moment. I already have two projects that I'm going to build. Oh, okay. So I'm going to concentrate on that. I'm curious. I, I I like to network and, and find out what, what kind of new builds are you doing? Are these uh, single family? Single and duplexes. Wow, cool. Have you been doing this for a while? Yeah, a few years. Wow. <laughs> I've been flipping for five, six years now, but I'm going to, um, I don't enjoy flipping anymore. So I'm going to mm. go to do, um, New bill, but anyway, on this house, mm -hmm. are you guys looking to fix and flip, or are you looking to wholesale? Uh, we we do both, but in primarily, uh, I would be looking to flip it if I can get it at the right price. If I can't get it at the right price, I'd probably try and give it to one of my buyers because I, I do wholesale. Okay. Well, uh, I just reduced the price to a hundred. I did see that. So yeah, I, I, I want a quick sale, okay. cash offer, seven day closing, no option period. Mm -hmm. So if you, I mean, uh, are you interested? Or you're looking to get a deal and, and uh, bring your buyer in. I personally live in Salt Lake City, Utah. Henry lives in in Houston, so that's why we're we're, we're looking at this okay, deal. Okay, so is he an experienced flipper? Or he just find a deal for you. He he finds he finds a deal for me. So I I either buy it or because I I work actually coach Henry. So I either buy it or I uh, I help him wholesale it. Right. Okay, so both of you are wholesaler. If you have buyer. Send them there. Okay. I'll give you the code to, to for them to take a look. Okay. And then if they are interested, then we'll talk. So okay. let me ask you this, because I, I I understand where you're coming from. If we can find a buyer for it, but they they come back lower than a hundred, like what what are you open to? Because I I don't want to waste your time and bring back a bunch of offers that stink. Yeah, they waste both of your time, Mike. Yeah, I don't want to waste your time, too. Yeah. Okay, well. Uh, but I'm just curious if if they come in, wh what is the lowest you would accept? I know you said you have it for a hundred, but I have to put my fee on there too if I were to bring a buyer. What's the lowest that you would accept? Uh, and I can see if maybe I can get it done. The lowest I accept, I would give maybe three to five thousand maximum on this deal. What uh, What do you mean three to five thousand maximum? Like three to five thousand less than a hundred, or yes. Mm, okay, so you don't have like a ton of wiggle room on like getting it down nope. to like eighty two or eighty three. It's from one nineteen down to one hundred. That's nineteen thousand dollar off. So yeah. that's my wiggle room right there. Okay. okay? Yeah. So. And one last question for you, Thu. Since you purchased this and you're probably gonna flip it, what do you have the ARV at? What do you believe that you could flip? One ninety. One ninety. But one ninety. But this one, if I don't sell, I'm probably gonna go ahead and do it. Okay. Split the lot sell the lot or do a new build on the lot gotcha. and then rehab the house. You know, it's funny. I, I use a software called Privy to run my comps and 190 is exactly what I got. So do you, you do you use Privy as well? No, I use uh, Tatar. You know, you can run time on the har. Okay, but the har. The 190, if you just buy the house and fix it and mm -hmm. sell for 190, you mm -hmm. won't make a lot of profit. Yeah, yeah, I totally the understand that. The profit comes from the extra lot of the house. Yeah, no, I see that. So there's an extra lot if you purchase this home. Is that what you're saying? This house is built on two lots. Two lots, okay. Well, I appreciate you being open uh, to to work with me, whether I buy it or I wholesale it. I'm, have have a lot of wholesalers approached you already about this and tried to bring buyers to to you? They approach me. They want to sign a contract to you know thirty day closing, seven days option period. Blah blah yeah. blah. I'm a wholesaler. I know the game. Of course. <laughs> bring the buyer. If you have a buyer, then lock it and close it. 
because I'm not gonna do option periods and yeah. all that crap. Yeah, you, yeah, you, yeah. I, I totally get it. Why would you get locked up with a wholesaler? Why they bring your buyer or not? Right? What, quit wasting your time. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then I, I know what they're doing. I'm doing the same. So why would I want them to lock <laughs> up the house so they can do what whatever? Okay. But uh, anyway, well, cash, quick close. In and out. Uh, the full rehab, not the distressed seller, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. not the regular, you know, people who face foreclosure and all that. Yeah, I, I, I get it. You know, and I, I appreciate your transparency. And, uh, you know, if, if this one doesn't work, I'd love to continue to work with you because I do find deals in Houston. So maybe we can work together. We can JV. You could help me find a buyer. Uh, who knows? Sure. Sounds good. Okay. All right, Thu. You have a great day. It was nice talking to you. Thank you. Yep. Bye, bye bye. All right. So Henry, off of that conversation, I was able to find out that uh, no wonder she's not going to accept your offer. She's a wholesaler. She's a flipper. She's experienced. She doesn't want to get locked up by anybody. She's just like, hey, bring me a buyer and we'll go we're good to go. Throw your fee on top. So it's interesting. This easy, right? She's giving us the lockbox code. We can send this out to our list. Everyone that's watching this live, <laughs> go ahead, give it a shot. <laughs> yeah, see, uh, see, see, asking for only uh, seven day closing and then uh, no, no option periods. Well, you really don't need an option period because if you can just send your buyers through and with a lockbox code and they can just give you an offer and commit, that's all she's asking for. So she's basically just saying, go ahead and wholesale this thing. <laughs> Henry, and also you got your first buyer. Yeah, she's, she's a buyer. Yeah. She's your a legitimate buyer on your list now. Now you can say you have buyers. She gave exactly her buying criteria. She says, I'm not really flipping. I'm looking for a uh, new construction. I'm doing new construction, single family duplexes, right? So if you find anything that meets that criteria, she's perfect. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but, that was a great call, Nathan. I, really yeah. good. Thank like, you. Very smooth. Like, you guys, anybody watching that, that is like textbook rapport building and smooth operatorness like that was really good so um watch this one over and over again you guys because that's how you do it